Hey folks, Crazy Climber 80 here again. And this time we're going to look at a game called Rootin' Tootin', and this is also known as La Papa in 1983 by Daddy East for the Deco Cassette System. And there's the Deco Cassette cabinet, or a typical one. There was also a wooden, wood grained side, sided uh, cabinet. But this was the 29th game created for the uh, Deco Cassette System. And as is typical for a Deco cassette system game, this had uh, a long boot up screen. And uh, this one counts down like uh, 115 or however many seconds it was. They, uh, they differed. The games generally differed in terms of how long you have to wait until the boot up screen is finished. Some of them are pretty short and some were pretty long, and this one's, I think, kind of in between. But I like this game. This game's kind of cute. It's a Pac-Man type of game in which you must eat all the dots. Well, this game is uh, musical-themed, uh, musically-themed, musical instrument-themed. And what you need to do is clear the screen of all the notes. And uh, you touch the notes to uh, get rid of them and uh, sometimes notes will be on the edge of a uh, uh, of an area that you're on and you need to touch the edge and then you'll be able to uh, uh, get rid of the note that way and when you touch a note it will fly across the screen and any enemies in its wake will be destroyed and the enemies that you face are musical instruments and you yourself are a musical instrument you're a trombone and the alternate title la papa refers to the uh, onomatopoeia sound of a trombone or at least how the Japanese see it but uh, there's uh, like six different enemies that you'll face in the game one is called <laughs> A guitar co. I don't know why they called it that, but it's a blue guitar, and it's your typical fodder enemy in the game. There is a mad phone, which is a set of speakers, and they shoot these sound waves that are deadly to touch. Uh, there is a sim bomb, and it will leave extra notes that you have to clear. Uh, there is a guitar row and uh, it is deadly to touch and there will be a uh, I can't remember if it's a fifth note but there is a symbol that sometimes appears and you can uh, reach over the edge of a of a floor that you're traveling on and touch it and then all the enemies will freeze and all of them will be uh, you can turn the tables on them like an, a Pac-Man energizer or power pill, except for the Guitaro. He will stay, he will freeze, but if you touch him, you die. And then there's the Trion, which is a triangle, you know, a musical instrument triangle, and it leaves these deadly spikes that you cannot touch. And then there's the Piana. <laughs> it's a piano, and they spelled it like a piranha almost and it can go through walls and like I said there is some sort of note symbol that you can touch once in a while that will let you turn the tables on your attackers and once in a while there will be an extra life icon that you can reach over the edge and touch and yeah those are your blue blue typical attackers those blue pianos you have a ghost button I don't know the actual name for it. See, you can reach over the edge and touch that note, that particular note symbol and you'll be able to turn the tables on your attackers. And they come out of those white squares, all of them do. But we'll go ahead and get started. This is a cute game, I really like it. Neat little, uh, cute little take on Pac-Man. Like I said, you, uh, you shoot the notes across when you touch them your ghost button only allows you to uh, go through the enemies 
for a very short while. Like, like one second at best. And yeah, keep in mind that those guys come out of those white squares, so watch out. Got it just in time. Yeah, this game is really cute. I like it. I love the uh, the music instrument themed uh, gameplay. And there's that stupid uh, triangle guy that likes to leave those uh, spikes in the way. Touch the spikes and you die. But yeah, I'd never seen this in arcades. I would have really liked this if I played it back then. Yeah, once in a while, there will be a uh, trombone, uh, or uh, an extra trombone you can pick up. And you'll, there it is, there's one. Will I get it in time? Yep, extra life. It's a cute game. Um, and there's that stupid uh, piano that can float through uh, walls, and it is called the Piana. Now note, uh, quote unquote note, that um, when you shoot a note across the screen, oh crap. See, I reappeared from my ghost form on uh, one of the other uh, Gitacos. <laughs> a terrible name. But, um, yeah, note that when you shoot a note across, that in order for it to actually register as being, uh, as being uh, destroyed or disposed of, it has to completely fly across the screen. So, when you're uh, trying to end the level, and you shoot it across the way, the level won't end until it's uh, all the way across the screen. But yeah, remember that, um, that, uh, guitar -o, the one of the red pianos, or uh, one of the red guitars will uh, freeze when you collect the power up or the uh, power pill or whatever, but it is deadly to touch, unlike all the other guys. But yeah, that's like the easiest way to dispose of an enemy is to shoot the notes at it. And yeah, watch out for the. Uh, sound aura or sound wave or whatever that those uh, speaker guys shoot. It's very slow, but it can still uh, float across all the walls and kill you. And that's what the uh, mad phone leaves. Well, I'm uh, excited to start my weekend. Also note that you can shoot a note across and take out uh, ah, damn it can take out, uh, your, your power-up, your, uh, uh, energizer thing. You can destroy it by shooting a note at it on accident, uh, same as the, uh, extra life symbol. Shoo! <laughs> yeah, this game is really cute, I like it. Um, there were a lot of bad uh, deco cassette system games, but there were some kind of hidden gems, like this one. Oh yeah, I see the see the uh, red guitar is still deadly to touch. You cannot uh, eat him when you get the uh, power up. Look at all those stupid uh, stupid uh, uh, spikes that that. Uh, triangle guy leaves. But you can destroy the spikes with the notes that you fling across. Whoa, that's getting pretty hairy. 
scary there. But yeah, there were some some really good uh, uh, deco cassette system games that a lot of people haven't heard of. Skater is pretty cool, and I really like this one. But there were mostly really bad games for the deco cassette system. It's got kind of a cult, a cult classic uh, appeal to it. The uh, cassette system does. Now we got little dead ends here and there. Yeah, I'm uh, I'm looking forward to starting my weekend. I have some uh, stuff I got to do at home starting today. Got to. Uh, fill up the hot tub. I drained it out recently. Got a, a paint under the eaves. Whoops. Crap, ran out of room. Got to, uh, got to mow the lawn. Probably water the lawn, too. Wouldn't hurt. Yeah, those symbols, those symbols, guys, will, uh, will leave extra notes for you. This is a really cute game. I I love the uh, musical instrument motif. Oh crap! Hey, <laughs> he left too many of those spike things. Yeah, you don't get to put initials in on this game, unfortunately. But that is Rootin' Tootin', also known as La Papa for the Deco Cassette System. And this was game number 29, the 29th game created for the that system in 1983. I uh, hope you enjoy your weekend. Uh, um, what plans do you have? Uh, leave a comment, let me know. It's, it's kind of nice to know how people enjoy their weekend. Uh, we're still really overcast uh, in the summer in uh, the Pacific Northwest. It's really weird. I would expect it to be like scorching hot at this point. But that was uh, Rootin' Tootin', also known as La Papa, for the Deco Cassette System in 1983 by Dad East. Well, this is Crazy Clamor East, and thanks for watching. And I will catch you later in the future with another video. Have a great weekend, everybody, and I will see you later. Bye bye.